we wanted to come out and establish that the last time we played them, um, we didn't get off to a great start. Um, Tulane does a great job of mixing up their zones, you know, 3-2, three, 2-3, two, two, three, and sometimes it's hard to recognize it. And so for a young team, you have to move the ball around and be able to get open looks like you need to. And they did a little bit of that in the first quarter and second quarter and kind of you know, had us at, uh, trying to think in more instead of moving the ball or moving our feet. Um, the way we were able to get out were – uh, get out in transition was to get some stops and get rebounds and we wanted to just push it down the floor before they can get set up and be able to take some quick shots that some people think ill advised shots but shots that we practice every day you know we we practice punch you know let's go down pass it first person shoot it but it's in your role so Angela and Jazz three-point shooters Dorian three-point shooter Ma, Momo Hawkins three-point shooter but you know Mimi we pitch it up to her, she knows she's one dribble pull up. You know, Mariah, she's getting to the basket. You know, uh, Deanna is shooting it, you know, those kind of, so you stick to your roles when we do our punch situations. You touched on it a little bit. Uh, go into more detail about uh, what your thoughts on Octavia did tonight. You know, it was tremendous. You know, she had a different feel about herself today. Um, coming over, she had her earphones on. She wasn't laughing. She wasn't talking. Um, she had a different focus when I went in the locker room to talk to them um, before the game. And she came out and she played that way. Um, she used to get a little bit upset because she sits long <laughs> before she go in the game in the first quarter. Um, but she wasn't even upset about that. And the first time she touched the ball, we were always talking to her about being aggressive, being aggressive and attacking. And she tested it and she shot it and she made it. And that put her in a good rhythm. Defensively, she has uh, energy just like Jazz and AD and Momo. So we want her on the ball and going to trap and being able to recover and things like that. And, you know, she played 26 minutes, but she could easily play 36, you know. But she's one of those players that we can plug into every single spot on the floor from the one through the five. Um, I think we had a couple possessions where we put her at the five today. Um, but. She's tremendous for us, and for us to go as far as we we planning or want to go, she's a huge key for that. Have you and the staff spoke to the players about this is the second half conference play, and got to really lock in and get it, get together and finish out the season strong? No, we didn't. We just talked about you know it's a one game week every single game, so we want to be one and zero every week. We want to stay with the double H's, you know, humble and hungry. Um, we want to just continue to do that, not looking down the line, you know, um, not looking at the social media stuff, you know, not looking at the conference standing or anything like that. We just want to play the next team that's on the schedule, be focused enough to be able to do that. Again, we never put uh, expectation or a goal or how many wins we want to have in the season. So we're just going. We're just playing. The same thing with our uh, – trying to get to the NCAA or NIT, we just say it's a journey. The journey is going to lead to a destination, and that's where we want to go. We're not putting a place like we have to park at the NIT or drive and get to the NCAA if we're in a car or anything like that. We just want to just drive, and wherever the journey takes us, we'll get up at, at, end up at that destination. I felt like today we, uh, we played great defense, and that w that's what led to the win today, our defense. Jasmine. Uh, yeah, like Angela said, we played great defense and we just fed off each other energy, um, passing the ball, getting uh, great looks, and uh, making them, making shots. Did y'all use the comeback at Tulane as motivation to like let them know tonight it's not gonna be like that tonight? Oh yeah, most definitely. Uh, we felt like that game we didn't play our best, and we let a team that we felt we were better than take a lead that they should have never had. So we felt like today was our chance to make a statement that, you know, last game, I'm, I'm not going to necessarily, necessarily say it was a fluke, but we just didn't play our best. Oh, yeah, like Angela, <laughs> yeah, like Angela said, you know, we didn't play to our best potential the last game. So this game, we just had to prove to them that's, that's not us. Anything different on offense? Team have more ball movement tonight? Yeah, you know, just, we just, had uh we did transition better, yeah. getting the rebound and just going, pushing the ball, and we just beat every, we beat them down the floor and just found open people and just shot the ball and made it. Yep. Got it. What about uh, seemed like you got more success out of the full court pressure as well? Mm -hmm. Well, um, 55 and um, full court pressure is something that we do at the beginning of practice every day. We do pivot drill, 
and we do um, one-on-one against the guys at the beginning of every practice. So I felt like, you know, going against the guys, that's helped me this year, going against the girls, because, you know, guys are going to be faster. So I feel like that's translated to the game to where I'm able to play full-court defense and contain my man. And one last question for you. What are your thoughts on Julia's game and her ability to help y'all on defense? Oh, Julia is a, a great help. I'm glad she's back. Um, those games that she was hurt and we were missing her, I think it showed on the court, you know. she Not only does she give me a break when she comes in, but uh, she's somebody that can come in and guard the other team's best player, and she just really helps us on the defensive end. Oh, yeah. Like I said last week, Julia's a great player. You know, she's going to give her all every game no matter what.